Well, hey there, I'm sure that if I'm all caught up with the newest and coolest nails, i.e. holographic cat eye gel, aka unicorn gel, then you definitely are in the know because you're you're always a little bit ahead of me. <laughs> and perhaps you're even a little overwhelmed by the choices of unicorn gel out there. So that is why I went shopping for you and got what I consider some of the best brands offering the new trendy holographic unicorn gel. Thankfully, they happen to be some of my favorite brands also. Those include gel nail brand F gel and ice gel. And I also picked up gel nail brand Cocoas. I'll drop links and codes down in the description box below if they're available for you. Ready to check them out? Let's get into the studio. Hey there and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Paola of paolaponsanails.com and I help current and aspiring nail stylists, perhaps like you, become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering all of their gel nail services using soft gel only. And if this sounds like a niche you'd like to consider exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Let's begin with F Show. Now, I don't mean to provoke FOMO, but I will. <laughs> this collection has already at least sold out twice, and it is surely because of how captivating at first sight it is, most likely to sell out a second and a third and maybe a fourth time. <laughs> it really is that pretty. And if you're like, do I really need them all? Well, let's hold that question. This collection consists of six colors, all packaged in the signature F Gel bottle. And like all F Gel color bottles, the bottle is painted in a similar to exact color as the gel color inside. Okay, so unless stipulated otherwise, all cat eye magnetic gel color is applied like this. To get that disappearing oval you typically need by swaying the fingernails back and forth, you need to bring your magnet to the sides or to three sides of the nail usually the left, the right, and the free edge. Now, if you're not familiar with magnets and nail art, magnets are used to push or pull the tiny magnetic particles in the gel. These positive and negative pulls in the magnet do reset, so you'll have to play around with your magnet a couple of times to see what it's doing at the time that you're ready to play with it. But please, do not stress. Your design is not over until you say it is. If you don't like it, don't cure it and simply repaint your wet layer on. It's that easy. Let's begin swatching. Okay, so truly, if you handed me just one out of the six colors in this collection as a gift, I'd be so thrilled and content, and that would be it for me. I got my unicorn holographic gel, magnetic gel fix in, right? But what if instead I was on a budget and had to choose just one, and I went looking and I found all of these six, right? Which one would I choose? Okay, for me, it would be the first one. FG65, so let's just say 65. It's got enough pink, but at the same time, it is neutral as can be. But that's only because blue tones don't accent my skin well, in my opinion, because if they did, then I would probably, or if I was more friendly to blues, I would go with the 70, FG70, because it is by far the most beautiful and it just stands out. It's, it's a purplish kind of color. So I know there's a lot of purple lovers out there. So this would probably be the one for you. One key thing to point out and for you to remember is that FJ is offering you a base color in every bottle, okay? So that will not be the case for our next couple of brands. So you, once you use any of these six F gel base colors or magnetic holo colors, you know, the unicorn gel, you don't need to apply a base color underneath them, okay? Let's move on to ice gel. Ice gel offers two unicorn gels. They are universal, so you can apply them over any color, but the current trend is to apply them over nudes or sheers. Okay, first impression, this one feels a little thicker than F gels. It's still pretty, it's got that nice holographic, and once we get our magnet action here, 
it's fine. F gels, however, glides super easy and smooth and also feels a little thinner. You still get a nice hole effect again here, but I almost think you have to apply this very thin so that it does not overwhelm your base color or bulks up when you do apply it over a color coat or two. Okay, the next one seems to have similar holographic tone gel, but if you look closely, there are hollow sprinkles inside. They're not bulky or hard to tame, so I really like that, so they're not like in the way. But remember how I said earlier these felt a little more thick than F gel. Well, this one definitely feels a bit more thick, almost kind of gloopy. And again, almost as if one layer is sufficient. So maybe not doubling up on two coats with these ice gels. Um, maybe that's the answer to that or just applying them a little bit more thin. But I thought I did, so maybe a little thinner. <laughs> um, if you apply them in two coats, I kind of feel like this gray tone that the holographic pigment and particles are in seems to kind of overpower the whole color, so your whole application. So just keep that in mind. Apply them thin or maybe experiment with one coat. Okay, but this one here from Aisha is super unique with the holo sprinkles, so a definite bonus point for that. Next up, Cocoas. With Cocoas, you are only getting one little itty bottle, and by that I mean only seven millimeters. So everything else has been about like, um, I wanna say 15 millimeters. So just like your regular standard size in a brush on bottle. And this is a universal one like eyeshadow, so you can apply it over any color. But remember, currently the trend is sheer or nudes. First impression, glides nicely and smooth like F gels, feels thin. And I like that because it leaves room for layering without bulking up. So this is super cool. So if I wanted to apply two coats of color i don't have to worry about having to apply another two coats of this okay so i do recommend even that you do one coat of base color if it's especially like a pigmented one and then again two thin coats of your unicorn gel okay just watch it so that it doesn't get thick but this formulation here by cocoa is really thin so i don't think you're going to have that problem whether you go with two coats of color and then two coats of unicorn gel or just one coat of color gel and then two coats of unicorn gel i think you will be fine as far as thickness or getting too bulky that won't happen let's now sum up some things the point of the magnet is to push or pull magnetic particles in the gel remember the other thing we need to sum up is that holographic gel wears best on sheer fluorescent or very dark colors so this is where your holo is really going to stand out so if you find a great combination out there that doesn't include sheer fluorescent or very dark please do share i want to know let me know in on my instagram account if i had to say out of the three brands demo today which would be my pig i know you're probably looking to put me between a rock and a hard place here so it will be between the f gel or cocoa's and if I was on a budget, I'd probably just do the Cocoa is one because it's universal, um, it's very light, then it goes on almost any color, right? But hey, if I wanted to splurge and have so much fun and have variety and offer that to my clients, then I would probably go with the F gel six colors because again, the base colors are already included in the actual gel. All right, well, because you've been so patient making it this far in today's video, I want to reward your patience and I'm actually going to be gifting the two ice gel bottles, so the two unicorn gels by iShell. But you gotta do two things for me, okay? You gotta go down in the comments below and drop a comment. Let me know what was your biggest takeaway? What were you most thankful for in this video? And also enter via the giveaway link in the description box below. All right, meet me here next week for another video on soft gel or solopreneurship. Until then, I'll see you in the comments. Bye for now.